105. Today we will study Unit 2, which is talking about the equations. In the equations, we have mathematical expressions. What is the meaning of mathematical expressions? Mathematical expressions has two kinds. Numerical expressions and algebraic or symbolic algebraic or symbolic expressions. Okay? Numerical I put um, for example 2 plus 3 equals 5 um, 4 minus 2 equals 2 6 times 5 equals 30 um, 42 divided by uh, 7 equals 6 ok numerical expression has only numbers and the operation itself only numbers and the operation itself all of these equal, uh, sorry, is called numerical expression. Okay, in the algebraic expression, it's like x plus two equals seven. In the algebraic expression, it has symbol, or we can call it symbolic expression. We have symbol, okay, or um, shape. We can write it by this way also. So, in algebraic expression or symbolic expression, it consists of the operation, a number, and symbol. Okay? Which is called a known. This symbol is unknown for me. Okay. So, this lesson only show me the difference between ex uh, expressional or um, sim sorry symbolic expression or um, algebraic uh, expression or numerical expression okay in lesson two it is talking about the constant and variable constant and variable. Constant means it doesn't change and variable means it's changed. Let's see an example. Okay, in your uh, book, uh, in the practice, the price of a meal in a restaurant is 15 pounds and three pounds are added for delivery service. It doesn't matter how many meals. What does this mean? The one meal, okay. one meal equals fifteen pounds. Okay, and the delivery. Price equals three pounds. This means fifteen, the price of the meal plus three, the price of delivery equal eighteen pounds or eighteen alpha. Okay. Then, what is constant here and what is variable? The constant here is three. Because it doesn't change. You will pay these three, uh, three pounds if you take one meal or if you take ten meals. Okay? It is constant. And this 15 is variable. It's variable according how many meals do you want or you will uh, ask. If you take two meals, 
So it will be 2 times 15 plus 3, 4 delivery. This is constant and this is variable. Okay? Let's see another example. The owner of a worker pays the daily wage of one of his workers according to, to the mathematical relation y equals 12 plus 5x. Here I have y. Okay. Y equals uh, 12 plus 5x. What does this mean? The owner will pay for each worker 12 pounds daily, okay? And 5 pounds for each overtime. Overtime hour, it means extra hours he worked after, uh, for example, if uh, every worker worked for 8 hours, if he work 9 hours, so he will take 12 for the 8 hours and 1 hour extra, this is called overtime, okay? And this hour costing 5 pounds. So, if you work his day and also um, 2 hours extra over time, it will be 5 times 2. Okay? So, 12 plus 5 times 2 equals 10 equals 22 okay or 22 so y equals 22 for another worker he works for example three hours so it will be five times three 15 plus 12 it will be 27 okay pounds So y here equals 27 and so on. So this is the relation between y and x, okay? According to the changing happens in the x, okay, the y will change, okay? This was lesson two. Now, what about lesson three? Lesson three is talking about the equation. What is the meaning of equation? Equations come from equality. Equality means uh, the two pans, if I have a pattern, the two pans should be equal. Okay? For example, this is a pan. Okay. In this pan, okay. In this pan, if I have here mm, one kilogram and one kilogram and another one kilogram. Do you know this palette? We use it in um, uh, the uh, fruit cellar or vegetable cellar. Okay. And here also one kilogram uh, plus or beside it yani, let's say it's watermelon. Okay. If I have here watermelon and one kilogram and here one two three kilograms okay I want to know the value of this watermelon how can I find it okay here this watermelon should be equal the weight here okay. here I have also one kilogram I want to take it away to get rid of it to get the value of the watermelon only, okay? So, I want to get rid of this. Okay.
okay? But in this case, they will not be equals. They will not be equals. I have to take away also one kilogram from this side to let the two bands be equals in weight. Do you understand? Okay. So, I take away, yeah, I uh, do subtraction here. I get one kilogram away and also here one kilogram away to keep the two pounds equals in weight. Okay? So, if I take away something from this side, I have to do the same in the other side. Okay? To keep the equality of them. Okay. For example, if I have here x plus 4 equals 10. Okay, like the pan or the balance. Here, x is a known for me. x plus 4 equals 10. I want this side to be x only to find its value okay so i want to get rid of this number how this number plus four i want it to be zero to be nothing so i subtract here also four from it okay and in the other side i subtract also four to keep the balancing so here it will be x 4 minus 4 equals 0 equals 10 minus 4 equals what? 6. So here I get the value of x equals 6. Okay? Let's take another example. If this x minus 4, I keep the same numbers to be clear for you. Here, x minus 4. This x is not a whole x, okay? We took 4 from it, but I want the whole x, the value of the whole x. So, here, I want it to be, to be complete x. So, this 4, which I took from it, I put it again, so it will be 4 plus 4, negative 4 or minus 4 plus 4 to give me a whole x. And what I do in this side, I should do it in the other side. Okay, so here x minus 4 plus 4, it means 0 equals 10 plus 4, 14. So the value of this x equals 14. Okay, let's see another one with another operation. For example, 2 two x equals um, 16. Okay, here 2x, I have 2x. But I want the value of just one x. So, how can I get right of this two? How? I want to get right of this. I want to get right of this two. How? If I divide it by two. Right? Why? Because 2 over 2 equals 1. It will give me just 1 x. So here it will be x. And we said before, if I do anything in the first side, I have to do the same in the other side. So here I also divided by 2 like this one. It will be 16 over 2. It will be 8. So x the value of x equals 8 so if i have addition 
I have to subtract it, okay, to get right of it. If I have subtraction, I have to add the same number to get right of it to be one whole. If I have multiplication, I have to make the opposite operation, which is the division, to get right of this multiplication and so on. Okay? The last operation is the division. If I have x, if I have x over 4 equals 2. This is not a whole x, it's x over 4. It means it's quarter or quarter x. All of them are the same meaning in different ways or different forms. x over 4, it means 4th four, uh, uh, over or quarter times x or quarter x. Okay, equals 2. It means this x is not a whole x. I want it to be a whole x. It's just the quarter. So I have to multiply by 4. I have to multiply by 4 to be 1x. To give me just 1x. Okay, and the same here. I multiply by Four. So it will give me um, 8. So here the value of x equals 8. The force equals 2. It means the whole x equals 8. Okay? Okay, now we have finished the lesson, but I want to revise uh, and be stressed for the important points, which is in the, uh, the value to get the value of the equation, okay? If I want the value of x and it has a number added beside it, I want to get right of it by the opposite operation, the addition, I use the subtraction, in the subtraction, I use the addition. In the multiplication, I, I use uh, the division. And in the division, I use multiplication to give me a whole x and to find the value. And if I make anything in the side, I have to make the same thing in the other side. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you.